How about a thermal imaging camera that can capture not only temperature differences of medium and large objects, but also of very, very small ones, such as a circuit board or even microchips? Exactly this, and much more, is promised by the Zinfrared Macro Thermal Imaging Camera, specifically the T2S+. In today's video, we'll thoroughly examine what this high-end thermal imaging camera is all about, what it has to offer, how it performs in testing, and whether it's worth investing in or not. I hope you're as excited as I am, so let's dive right in after the intro. But if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to never miss a video in the future. You can find the current prices of this device in the video description below. Thank you very much for your support, and let's get started after the intro. I've already tested several videos on this channel about thermal imaging cameras for smartphones for you. I'll link those videos up here in the info card. However, the ones I've tested so far are designed for medium to large objects because the focal length is limited, thus limiting the range at which the image is sharply displayed. Not so with the new T2S Plus from Zinfrared. This device features an 8mm macro lens that allows you to get extremely close to such objects and still get sharp images. But it's not just the macro lens alone that makes this thermal imaging camera interesting. It also boasts other powerful specifications. Let's see what it really has to offer. Starting with the contents of the package, you quickly notice that for such a compact mobile thermal imaging camera, there's quite a large product box. I'm curious to see what's inside. From this, as you can see, we first receive a nicely sized carrying case with a handle on the top for convenient transportation of all the equipment. And inside this carrying case, there's more small accessories. Firstly, from the upper compartment, there's a carrying strap that we can attach on the right and left, the whole stack of papers consisting of the user manual, stickers and the like, and finally, two cables. Directly below that, now onto the more important equipment, as you can see, firstly, the actual thermal imaging camera, again, packaged in a mini carrying case, and also included is this hand grip. I'll also talk about its purpose in just a moment. As you can see, the package contents are certainly very generous for a mobile thermal imaging camera compared to other devices I've tested before. However, aside from this package over there, I find it extremely practical that the actual thermal imaging camera is once again provided in a small, separate pouch. Because not everyone wants to regularly lug around this large bag. This small one is definitely much more practical. Finally, neatly tucked away in this pouch once again is the actual thermal imaging camera. And I believe I haven't promised too much. This device is also extremely compact. Due to its size and choice of materials, this camera is not only extremely compact, but as you can see, it's also made of plastic, making it extremely lightweight. Specifically, this device weighs only 18 grams. That's really extremely light. And as you can see, the graph also illustrates that this is indeed the lightest mobile thermal imaging camera I've tested to date. Otherwise, externally, nothing particularly special. As you can see on the back, there's a Zinfrared logo, and on the top, the connector for the smartphone. It's worth noting there are two variants of the T2S Plus one with a USB Type-C connector for Android smartphones and the counterpart for Apple devices with a lightning connector. Otherwise, both cameras are completely identical. And last but not least, the most important part of a thermal imaging camera, namely the built-in sensor with lens. In this case, as you can see, the lens is protected by a separate rubber cover to prevent it from getting scratched during transport. And with nothing more to see from the outside, let's now take a look at the software. To connect the thermal imaging camera to our smartphone, we first need the appropriate software. There are plenty of applications available at both the App Store and Google Play Store. The correct, or rather suitable one, is called Extreme Infrared. After downloading the application, we can open it directly. Fortunately, no registration is required and the camera itself is detected directly when plugged into the smartphone. No problem so far. Of course, this requires an OTG-capable smartphone. In this context, it's also worth mentioning the power consumption of this compact thermal imaging camera. It's only 0.35 watts, and 
As you can see from the graphic, compared to other models, the camera is quite economical. Regarding the app's user interface, in my opinion, there's nothing to complain about. While the app is only available in English, Russian, and Chinese, it's very well structured, not overloaded, and offers in-depth settings options. The most important settings of the app are conveniently located right on the home screen. For example, the camera offers a selection of a total of seven color palettes, depending on the application spectrum we're pursuing. By default, the screen displays the center temperature, the lowest and the highest temperature. However, we can also easily add additional measurement points or measurement areas. For this, we find another option where we can draw lines, points, or rectangles ourselves. This is extremely useful, for example, when I want to track multiple individual areas with one camera. For example, three areas where I want to have the lowest and highest temperatures, perhaps even the center temperature in each. Regarding temperatures, this device has a range from minus 20 to 450 degrees Celsius, which I believe is completely sufficient for a thermal imaging camera for smartphones or its application range. This is also confirmed by the graph. As you can see, the T2S Plus is in the good middle range compared to other devices. Associated with this, also worth considering, is the temperature sensitivity of the sensor, the NTED. For the T2S Plus, this is 40 millikelvin. It's worth noting that the lower the NTED, the more precise, the finer the temperature differences can be detected. As you can see in the graph, this camera is quite far ahead. On this point, I must admit, I was a bit confused because the data sheet of this camera indicated an NTED of 60 millikelvin. However, the results of this camera seem to me, especially compared to the other devices I have, to be somewhat more precise. In the updated data sheet, 40 millikelvin was now indicated, which accordingly confirms the precise temperature differences in the images and recordings of this camera. As for the resolution, it looks quite good as well. The T2S Plus has a resolution of 256 by 192 pixels, which I believe is completely sufficient for such a compact device. And as you can see in the graph, the camera is in the same league as the other devices already tested. In practice, this allows for beautifully high-resolution images in various scenarios, but we can also record videos with this device at a maximum of 25 frames per second. But what remains special about this mini camera is the 8mm built-in macro lens, which we can easily focus on the back with two fingers. In practice, this means that we can focus and capture both distant objects and those very close to the lens sharply. From my practical experience, I can see that this works surprisingly flawlessly. On the one hand, I can sharply photograph large objects, such as houses or facades, and on the other hand, through the macro lens, I can also get extremely close to objects, allowing me to easily detect the temperature difference of a small microcontroller. Specifically, I can determine a distance of up to one centimeter where I can still sharply focus with the lens. However, it's important to note that with this camera, unlike with other devices, you need to regularly adjust the focus through the small lens on the front. Otherwise, you'll only get blurry images. In my opinion, not a real problem. But for some who just want to take a few quick shots, this could already be too cumbersome. And finally, also extremely practical is the included accessory because, as you can see, there's this attachment included in the package where we can mount the smartphone on one side and the thermal imaging camera on the other. Also included is a cable to connect the two elements. And that naturally brings the huge advantage that if I want to work with this camera for a longer period, I have a much better grip. It's much more comfortable, almost like with a typical handheld thermal imaging camera. All in all, I can really only say positive things about this small mini thermal imaging camera, the T2S Plus. It works perfectly, the app runs smoothly, I get high resolution images, and there are plenty of settings available here. Nevertheless, the camera is of course predestined for close-up shots due to the macro lens, for example, here on electronics or the like. So, my recommendation goes out to everyone who is looking for a compact thermal imaging camera for their smartphone, with which you can not only take high-resolution pictures, but also take macro shots. In that regard, as we've seen, this device is truly invaluable and highly recommended. Okay, that's it for me.
Now, I'm curious to hear what you think of this macro thermal imaging camera. Feel free to share your opinion, your thoughts down in the comments. I'm looking forward to your feedback. And with that, I would say, if you've enjoyed the video, please show your support by giving it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to never miss a video in the future. You can find the current prices of this camera to support my work in the video description below. Thank you very much for your support, and with that, take care until next time. Goodbye!